Well, Hello Bike is a relative newcomer to the field, and I'm speaking now to the CFO, Fisher Chen, who's going to tell us a little bit more about the company. Thanks for joining us today, Fisher. Thank you. So, um, the whole field, kind of crowded. You have two established players, Mobike as well as Ofo. Why jump in? Uh, basically, we see this uh, bike sharing uh, and also uh, more uh, uh, new business that, we, that we're doing as a, a very, very um, basic uh, business that we offer because, um, uh, you know, we're talking about high frequency um, and very, very strong demand. So with only two players uh, in China, uh, we, we still see a lot of play, uh, spaces you know, for us to, um, to, uh, to, to provide better services um, and be more efficient uh, 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 in the industry. So where do you see yourself competing with them? Yeah, we, we're currently the leading player here, here in China. Uh, we, uh, are, uh, we have already surpassed uh, our competition, that, that's for sure. Um, and we have gone into like 300 Chinese cities uh, with uh, around 20 million rides on a daily basis. So that's uh, how we, uh, we see ourselves. Um, yeah, that's what I was going to ask you a little yeah. bit about, because just from what I've been seeing, it looked as though your presence unusually was much more in the lower tier. This means smaller, usually uh, more rural cities compared to, say, Ofo and Mobike. Why did you decide to, to make that decision? Uh, the reason why we were doing that, you know, was uh, because last year we were kind of small, right? Uh, much smaller than, uh, for a while, we were much smaller than these two. Uh, and uh, it's, it's actually less competitive uh, to do businesses uh, in the, in the lower, lower, lower tier cities when uh, uh, Ofa and Mobac, you know, are pretty much concentrated in, in, the, in, the, in the tier one cities. Um, so that's pretty much the reason why, uh, why, why we were doing that. But very easily both Ofo and Mobike could enter these cities and they are entering these cities. Yes. So, so how are you going to fend off that type of competition? Uh, we believe, you know, we have huge uh, advantages uh, in terms of technology, uh, in terms of our daily uh, operating and maintenance, and also in terms of our, our capital deployment efficiency. So that's, um, uh, those are the key things that we, uh, uh, that we see, you know, as winning factors for us. How are you going to make money? Because some of those, those that's, that's really the issue that both Ofo and Mobike have faced. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that's a pretty good question. Uh, the, the thing is, you know, mo, uh, we we actually uh, maintaining and growing the high high frequency regular bike sharing business in China, right? You know, we're currently the largest, uh, and we we adding uh, on new businesses, um, you know, capitalizing on you know the the large cost, uh, user base that we have. Um, so that's that's how we basically uh, basically basically do to improve our overall financial performance, mm. i.e. making money. <laughs> Well, one of the things that I think is interesting about your strategy, too, is that you are deposit-free. You don't require yes. customers to, to leave a deposit with you. Mm -hmm. Why do you decide to do that? Because it seems that that would also pressure your, financial, your financials. Well, basically, that goes back to the point that I made earlier in terms of Holobike having a much greater uh, capital deployment efficiency uh, than our competition. So we didn't really have a lot of legacy problems. Um, you know, huge amount of deposit that we used to take on. No, we didn't. We didn't really have that. So we. That's, so that's the reason why you know we were able to offer that, which is one of the key things uh, that you know the users like, um, and that's one of the key key things that's forming their decision making. Now, both you as well as Ofo are backed by Alibaba. You by Ant Financial, which is an affiliate with Alibaba. Mm -hmm. So, um, just given all the consolidation that's going on in the industry, do you see a situation where both you and Ofo would merge? Uh, well, um, I don't know. Um, and anything is a possibility, but 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 basically, we're competing with Ofo the way that we're competing with Mobile. Uh, Simply, simply because you know we have overlapping investors doesn't mean that you know we, we don't compete. So uh, I don't really have any comment on the, on the merger thing. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.